Today we're gonna to talk about passwords, hashes, and rainbow tables. And best of all, I got McDonald's. Do me a favor, create a left click event over the like button and subscribe. Be on the lookout for this interview question. So how do you decrypt a password from a database? This is a trick question, but before I answer it, my project manager, Circleback Jack, and my team leader have something they wanna say. Just remember that this is a high level overview that even an exercise science major like me can understand. So if you're some kind of mathematographer and you don't like the way Ryan is talking because he's using simple words, then leave a message in the comments so I can circle back and make fun of you, nerd. And remember, this is just an educational example. Follow your own company's guidelines on passwords and information security. Thanks, guys. So let's start with a simple example of how you get an unencrypted username and password from a database. So to illustrate this, I have a fake database of all of my coworkers, and all of them have plain text passwords. And we're gonna keep it like that for now just to show you how a login process works. So I created an application to go along with this fake database. And here we're gonna log in. We're gonna log in through plain text. There's regular Ryan, and here's my password. I enjoy coding for money. So let's see what happens when we log in. We're gonna use the username to go and get the row from the fake database. If the user row is null, then we know that this isn't a valid user. The username is wrong. Don't even let this guy into the system. But if there is a row, then we know that this is a valid user and we can check their password. Now, if you look at the database, you're gonna see that the username regular Ryan and the password I enjoy coding is all in the same line. It's all in the same row. So the row I got from the database contains the password. So I'm gonna put that into string password from database. And that is I enjoy coding $4. Now down here, we're gonna to check to see if the password that I passed in, this up here, equals password from database. And of course it will. And so we return true. And that means we are authenticated. But storing passwords in plain text isn't best practice because someone with database access could steal all your passwords. So how could we make this better? Well, we could encrypt the passwords, but we're not really encrypting them. We're hashing them with a one-way function. If you turn a potato into a hash brown, you can never turn the hash brown back into a potato. It's a one-way function. It's a hash function. Now, when you first set up your account, you're gonna send this plain text password into a hash function. In this case, the hash is going to be MD5. There's many other hashes out there. MD5 isn't secure anymore, but this is suitable for educational purposes. So I'm going to send this plain text password into this hash function. And what I get in return is this hash down here. This is gonna be really hard to figure out what the original content was. So now let's try logging in with a hash password. Well, the process starts out the same. We're still sending in a username. We're still sending in a plain text password. But now that all the passwords in the database are hashed, we need to take the plain text password that was sent in, hash that, and then compare the two hashes. But there's a slight problem with this approach. Look at this table. Circle back Jack and Recruiter Ryan both have the same hashes. That means they both have the same password. So I could use social engineering to get the password of one guy, and now I have the password of everyone who has that same hash. But there's another problem, rainbow tables. Rainbow tables are massive dictionaries of passwords that have been pre-hashed. I could even take the hash password and plug it into an online rainbow table to get the user's password. So how can I make this more secure? Well, let's flavor the password with some salt. The salt is a random number that's generated when the user first creates their account. We save the randomly generated password salt in the database. This salt is pretty small, but again, this is for educational purposes. So when a user creates an account, you're gonna generate the salt. And then you're gonna take that salt and you're going to append it to the user's plain text password. Then when you generate the hash, the passwords are guaranteed to be unique. Just be sure to save that random salt in the database for that user or else this won't work. Circle back Jack and Recruiter Ryan both use YOLO as their password. But as you can see, adding the salt makes their password hash totally different. So now with the password salt, you have a couple of extra steps for login. You're gonna get the hashed salted password from the database. Then you're going to get the password salt. That's the number that we generated. You're gonna grab that from the database. Then you're gonna take that plain text password, add the password salt to it, and generate the hash. Now we compare the newly hashed password with the hashed and salted password from the database. As you can see, they're the same, and we let the user in. So if you're ever asked an interview question about how you decrypt a password, the answer is you don't. It's a trick question. You take the incoming password, you hash and salt it, and you compare it to the hashed and salted password that's already in the database. If the two are equal, 
The guy authenticates and you let him in. So now you can talk about passwords with confidence. Good luck on your next interview.